Hello, welcome to Nina's Knots Crochet. I'm Linian. If you're new here, hi, thanks for stopping by, checking out my channel. My channel, it's all about crochet, a little bit about knitting, a lot about yarn, and my journey in this fabulous yarny community. Returning subscribers, hi, thanks so much for coming back, spending a little bit of your Monday with me. Um, this isn't Vlogmas, this is um, Nina's Knots Crochet 2.0. Um, I'm changing things up a little bit. Um, I know myself well enough. I know I cannot keep up this pace of doing a video every single day. And I'm not going to set myself up for failure. I am, however, going to adjust my schedule and I'm going to put out a video three days a week. So I will come to you on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Mondays, we will do the Monday make-alongs. I'm doing so many make-alongs this year um, that it, it'll give me once a week to kind of go over all the make-alongs I'm doing. I'm starting the Sophie's Universe um, in January. Um, I may not start it on time, we'll see, but definitely doing the Sophie's Universe. Um, and that's this blanket, if you don't want, know what we're talking about. Um, there's a bunch of us who are working on, are gonna start working on this. Carrie, the Yarny Elephant, she is the one who's kind of like the facilitator of this. Um, she has a Facebook group. She has a Facebook Messenger uh, chat group. Um, I'll link her below if you are interested in doing this. You don't have to buy this book. Um, I know that there are several people who are giving it away. Uh, Nancy at She's Got Yarn 2 is doing a giveaway for it. Lynette at Charmed Grammy is doing a giveaway for it. Um, there may be others, uh, but it's a free pattern. Uh, there are tutorials on YouTube, how to do each section. There's so many people that are willing to help people out with this. It's a good way to, to do a, a stash busting. You need 10 colors, 10 or 11 colors. Um, and there's a lot of help out there. So if you're interested in doing a blanket that looks like it will be heirloom quality, beautiful. I mean, look at that. Um, I'll be starting this with the group. Um, I'm also doing a um, shawl along with Jackie with crochet. H A Jackie, I never get your channel right. I'm sorry. Crochet H D A D A. I'll link her below. She's fabulous. If you don't know who I'm talking about, Jackie is she's a hoot. I love her. She's doing a shawl along. So I'll be doing her shawl along with um her. I I think her starts in January sometime too. Um, and then I heard some really fantastic news that Nancy from Nance Next Knots um, is going to be doing a Luck of the Draw 7. And that is going to be starting in February. Um, I am so excited about that. I loved doing Luck of the Draw. Um, so I have a bunch more of the Mona Lisa yarn coming in from Mary Maxim. So I will be using that for my luck of the draw. I'm so excited about that. Um, so those, those are the three that pop in my head right now. I'm sure as the year progresses, there will be more uh, make-alongs happening. Um, and then on Wednesdays, it'll just be a, a regular Whip Wednesday. Um, I have a lot of projects in my head other than these make-alongs that I want to do. So we'll be, sh I'll be showing you the other things that I'm working on, like the cardigan that I'm going to make for my husband. Um, there's, I have an idea for a sweater I want to make for one of my granddaughters. Um, and I, I want to see if I can't figure that one out. I want to work on my Tunisian, um, techniques more and more. And I want to learn how to knit a little, I, I know how to do the knit stitch and the purl stitch. I'm nowhere near proficient at it. 
So I want to explore knitting a little bit this year. So we'll talk about that. And then Friday, I heard some other people, um, they're, they're doing a frog it or finish it Friday. I don't know if I'll do something like that. I don't know. We'll figure, Fridays, we'll, we'll, we're going to flow with it Friday. I don't know what Fridays are going to be. We're just going to flow with it Friday. Um, so those are the days that I'm going to be coming to you um, just to keep you up to date of what's going on with my journey in this fabulous community. I'm just, I'm so happy that I found these, all of you, that this has just been so much fun for me and I really do appreciate it. So that's, that's what's happening going forward. Um, what have I been doing this weekend other than celebrating Christmas with my family and my husband's family. Um, I'm getting ready for my kids and my grandkids to be here by the, I think the Michigan people will be here either today or tomorrow, depending on the weather. And then uh, my Indiana people will be here the day after. So I'm getting ready for the Munchkin invasion. <laughs> I'm so excited to see my grandkids. But in the meantime, I've been working on um, a Tunisian project. I have started an asymmetrical shawl um, and I have been doing it in a basically a sampler version of this shawl um, and I've just and I've picked out the stitches out of this book the Tunisian Crochet Basic and Textured Stitches, Volume 1, by Petra Tornak Zimmerman. It was purchased on Amazon. Um, I don't think it was very expensive. And I have, it's, it's very, very basic, but it has enough information in here that um, I'm really enjoying picking out different stitches. Um, I've had to be real careful because a lot of stitch pattern ideas, you have to have like an even row or an eight plus two row. Well, the way that I'm doing this, I can't guarantee I'm going to have an even row every row because I'm only increasing on one side. So I have to pick out the, the stitches that have no multiples or stitch any number of rows. So I've been kind of... Um, sticking with the first section I did the simple stitch and then every row after that I start with so this section down here was like 18 rows then I did 18 simple stitches and then I start the knit stitch and then I did 18 simple stitches and then I start the purl stitch so it's creating this border all by itself. So then I did, this one is the reverse stitch. Is that what that one is? Then I did the knit stitch. Then I did the mirror stitch. And then I did some more, see that's the mirror stitch. Then I did some more simple stitch. Then I did, this one here was really interesting. That's the twisted stitch. And that's just a matter of putting the hook in a different place. And now I'm back to doing a knit stitch. And this has been, um, you know, just sit and relax kind of crocheting. Um, I've been trying different positions um, to try to get my arms raised high enough so that after I recover from my surgery, I can still crochet. Um, the yarn I'm using is Willow Yarns Wheels in the color Kingfisher. And this has such a Southwest sunset vibe to it. It's so beautiful with the, the coral and the yellow and the, the turquoise and the blue. It's just so gorgeous. And this yarn is so soft and so squishy and it's, it's, it's beautiful and it's 
uh, a 70-30 acrylic wool blend that's a number three. Um, there are, how many yards in this thing? Three hundred and seventy-seven yards in each cake, and this is how far I am in cake number one. And I'm going to use all of this and just, just, just keep practicing. Um, I'm in no hurry for this. It's just a relax along until I, I don't want to start anything big um, before my surgery, so. This is just a sit and relax and I can do this and still carry on a conversation um, with people around me. So, and like I said, I'm practicing getting my arms raised up and my head's held up high so that while I'm recovering, I, I can still do something. I don't think I could be able to be sit still and do nothing for three months. I'd lose my mind. So that's the crochet i'm working on um did you notice my shirt uh this was a christmas present from my husband um he when we started the the bogey creek drive and i was doing all these blankets for them he went on their website just to kind of find out what they were about he was interested in it and if there was a way that he could support them because he's not a crocheter and he noticed that they had a gift shop. So he ordered me this cute shirt, Be Brave, Be Kind, Be You. Um, on the back it does say Camp Bogey Creek. Um, and he got me a coffee mug, got himself a coffee mug, uh, some notepads, some magnets, uh, a couple of like duffel, like uh, drawstring bags that I can use for project bags. So. He's so sweet, and he, this was his way of of supporting Bogey Creek. So, but I really love the sentiment on this shirt, so I thought I'd wear it today. And this sweater is my uh, big comfy cotton. It's actually cotton number five, uh, uh, chunky cardigan by um, Bagua Day, and I. This is my. It's cold out. I love this sweater warm me up in the morning sweater. So that's what I'm wearing today. Um, really, that's all I've got to say. I've been out here for 12 minutes really talking about nothing, huh? So um, going forward, we'll see you on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Uh, don't forget, you can follow me on Facebook on Instagram. You can always email me. Winners from yesterday, I did get your emails and I will get to the post office this week and get your project or your stitch markers mailed out to you. Um, as soon as I do, I'll get you the tracking number. So until tomorrow, oh no, not tomorrow. We're not doing this every day. We're going to see you on Wednesday. So until Wednesday, you have a fabulous next couple of days and be kind to everyone.